Hi everyone, this is Philip Martin from the Phoenix Society. In this video, we're going to take a look at a Type 2 falchion. This Type 2 falchion was purchased from a website that sells swords produced by this Polish swordsmith, Maciej Kopchuk. The website is called The Art of Swordmaking. On theartofswordmaking.com, you can see several examples of Type 2 falchions. Uh, this sword maker has created a nice little niche for himself, I think, uh, as not many other people are making Type 2 falchions. Uh, I've spoken to other um, sword makers and asked about the possibility of having one made, and most have indicated that they're just, they were not interested in reproducing a Type 2. So what exactly is a Type 2 falchion? James Elmsley created a typology for European single-edged swords. Uh, and when he first introduced that typology, uh, Shad from the Shadiversity YouTube channel uh, created a series of videos introducing that typology. And he also created a couple of nice illustrations showing the various types of falchion and messer. Um, at first glance, this type 2 falchion might look like it should have the edge along the longer side of the sword and the spine along the shorter side and then a clipped point. But in reality, it's just the opposite. The sharpened edge is on the shorter side and the spine runs, runs along the longer side. Um, this allows the tip to be thicker so that the, th the thick spine runs all the way down through the tip to allow for thrusting into tougher targets. Uh, one interesting feature of this example of a Type 2 is that the spine is very thin at the base. Uh, this is the only example of falchion that I've seen so far that actually matches the um, illustrated distal taper from Shad's 3D models of these falchions. Uh, most falchions that I've handled have a thick base, maybe six millimeters or so, and then it tapers quickly to have a thin spine in the cutting section. But that thicker base allows stiffness and better handling. Um, this is the first one that I've seen that has a very thin base and um, a resulting thin sword overall. Um, the sword though is not overly flexible. Um, one other feature of Type 2's is that as you can see there's a, a fuller and edge bevels on this side, but if you look on the other side, it's completely flat. This uh, Type 2 falchion is a rare type of falchion. Uh, there's only two surviving examples uh, that are authentic period examples of Type 2 falchions. There's a third one in the collection, I believe, in Germany, but most experts believe it to be a fake or a later reproduction. As rare as these Type 2 falchions are, believe it or not, a falchion very similar to this one was featured in a movie, the 2006 production of Tristan and Isolde, starring James Franco and Henry Cavill. Uh, aesthetically, I think this sword is a great choice for that movie. Uh, a brutal, vicious sword for the brutal Irish General Morholt, uh, who liked to put pufferfish venom on the edge uh, just to make it that much more lethal. Uh, it was interesting to see what a fight choreographer would do when presented with a weapon like this. But historically, having this sword in that movie was, was very inaccurate. Uh, the events of that movie took place in the early 6th century, uh, right after the fall of the Roman Empire. But this uh, Type 2 falchion did not come into existence until the late 13th century, and then was used in the 14th century. So if you do the math, 
uh, that's about 750 years. Uh, the sword was 750 years uh, too early in that movie. Uh, I don't know if that's a record for the uh, most anachronistic, uh, I guess, uh, unironic use of a, a weapon in the movie, but it's probably close. Um, but anyway, it was fun to see uh, that big, uh, massive Type 2 falchion uh, being used on screen. So let's take a few minutes to discuss the dimensions and features of this particular reproduction of a Type 2 falchion. The blade is not quite 29 inches long, it's 28 and 3 quarter inches. The sharpened false edge is 12 inches long. The sword weighs 2 pounds 12 ounces with a point of balance at 4 and 3 quarter inches. So the sword has plenty of blade presence. As I mentioned earlier, the spine is very thin. It's three millimeters at the base. And then at the end of the fuller, it's still three millimeters. Uh, the blade then tapers towards the tip down to one and a half millimeters, one inch from the tip. For those of you who have not seen the art of sword making swords before, uh, they have a handmade look to them. Uh, they look nice, but if you look closely, you can see little imperfections in the finish of the guard, for example. And the peen certainly could have been done more cleanly. But overall, it's a, it's a very good looking sword. Um, earlier this weekend, I cut some tatami mats. So let's take a look at that footage and see how well this Type 2 falchion cuts tatami. So as you saw in that cutting footage, this Type 2 falchion cuts the Tommy very well, very cleanly. And the fact that it does highlights another topic that I'd like to discuss with regards to these Type 2 falchions, and that is edge asymmetry. Uh, typically in the past when I've encountered asymmetrical edges, it's been to the detriment of the cutting performance of that sword. Uh, for example, uh, Several times I've sharpened inexpensive double-edged swords and found that one side of the edge has a good edge bevel and the other side has something like this, uh, excess steel right behind the edge. And so even if I put a, a razor sharp final edge on that sword, sharp enough to shave hairs off your arm, if I then take that sword and try and cut the Tommy, it's not gonna cut well. And it's gonna take quite a bit of work to grind off that steel to make a symmetrical edge that cuts well. And yet here we have an example of extreme edge asymmetry, uh, edge bevels on one side and completely flat on the other. And yet it cuts the Tommy very, very well. So why? Well, rather than having a 40 degree final edge bevel with 20 degrees on each side, the flat side produces a chisel edge with a 20 degree total edge bevel. So it's a much finer edge uh, that's very effective at cutting through uh, soft dense targets and also shearing through layers of cloth. So this is a case where those positive effects of having a, a fine edge outweigh any negative effects having to do with, with edge asymmetry. Uh, overall, I really like this Type 2 falchion. Um, if anyone watching uh, wants to buy one, 
I can only advise you to go to artofswordmaking.com because he's the only one making type 2 falchions. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And thank you very much for watching.